Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Wan from Arden Vision Eye Care in Richmond Hill, Ontario. There are different ways you can control the increase of nearsightedness for your child. You can check out my video on that topic right over here. Basically, the methods to control the increase of nearsightedness can include soft contact lenses, hard contact lenses, and eye drops. And some people may not be comfortable with putting eye drops or contact lenses in their young child's eyes, so they go with the traditional method of glasses to help their child see. If that's you, you may be very interested in what we'll be talking about today. We'll be looking at the international award-winning glasses lens design for nearsightedness control in children. That's the Hoya MyoSmart lenses with DIMS technology. What makes the lens design so effective? And who's a good candidate for wearing it? If you want to find out, stick around. To refresh, myopia or nearsightedness is when the eye is too long such that when a person views distance, the image falls in front of the back of the eyes where the focus actually needs to be, causing blur. The traditional lenses to correct nearsightedness moves the image back to the focus point at the back of the eyes. While it provides clear functional vision for the child, it causes relative hyperopic defocus or blur effect in the rest of the periphery of the eyes. This blur signal can cause the eye to elongate, driving nearsightedness to increase. To offset this, Nearsightedness control methods attempt to induce something called myopic defocus, the opposite signal that causes the eye to elongate in the periphery of the back of the eyes. In a two-year clinical trial, MyoSmart lenses with DIMS technology has been shown to be effective in slowing nearsightedness progression by 60% and even stops nearsightedness progression altogether in 21.5% of cases. These are some of the most impressive clinical stats in the field of nearsightedness control today, and that is precisely why this lens has won international recognition. At a glance, the MyoSmart lens is indistinguishable from a traditional single vision lens. Yet aside from allowing the nearsighted child to see clearly in all gazes, it simultaneously is highly effective in nearsightedness control. In Hoya's MyoSmart lens design, there is a central zone with the child's appropriate glasses prescription to help them see clearly with. This is surrounded by a ring-shaped treatment zone, which creates a myopic defocus effect which keeps the eye growth in check. The treatment zone consists of myopic defocus islands arranged in a honeycomb pattern. These spots, while help with nearsightedness control, normally cause blur for the child when viewing distance. This is prevented because the spaces between the myopic defocus islands is in the prescription that allows the child to see clearly with. When faced with the combination of blur and clear signals in the peripheral gazes, the brain does its magic and filters out the blur signal and chooses the clear ones to make up the child's vision with. From my clinical experience, most children don't even mention seeing blur upon the first time they try on MyoSmart lenses. So who are good candidates for wearing the MyoSmart lenses? I would say children who are found to have nearsightedness but are too young to consider the nearsightedness control methods of contact lenses, including MySight lenses and orthokeratology lenses because they lack the dexterity and skill to insert and remove them. It's also for children who are nervous about putting drops or contact lenses in their eyes. MyoSmart lenses offer the least invasive form of nearsightedness control because the glasses don't touch the child's eyes. The child's glasses prescription also must not exceed minus six diopters of nearsightedness and minus four diopters of astigmatism for a combined power of minus 6.5 diopters. In short, with the science and understanding we now have about nearsightedness control, rather than rushing to fill your child's NYX updated glasses prescription in traditional glasses, you may want to consider filling it with MyoSmart lenses, especially if nearsightedness control is a top of the mind priority you have for your child. If you're interested in the MyoSmart lenses for your child, make sure to inquire about it at your next visit with the optometrist. If you happen to be in the greater Toronto area and would like to consult me for your child's eye health, 
make sure to book an appointment with me with the information provided in the description box below. If you learned something from today's video, please press the like button to show your support. Consider subscribing for more free eye health videos. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.